Hi, everybody. Welcome to PBTP, Powered by the Players. Powered by the Players is an actual play podcast featuring mini campaigns of all your favorite PBTA games. Each campaign will be a different Powered by the Apocalypse game with a rotating cast of diverse players. Let's power up. Okay, and before we get started, let's remind our listeners of who our players are and which playbooks they're playing. I'll go first. I am Kristen. I use she, her pronouns. I will be playing Vignette, superhero named Emma, also uses she, her pronouns, and she is from the Outsider Playbook. I am Maggie. I use they, them pronouns. Um, I am playing Ali Angel, superhero named The Fury. Uh, She uses she, her pronouns, and her playbook is The Transformed. I'm Diana. I use she, her pronouns. I am playing Jamie Matthews, a superhero named The Whisper. She, her pronouns, and she is from the Janice playbook. Hi, I'm Mariam. Uh, They, them pronouns. I am playing Amir Ali, superhero named Mixed Direction, also uses they, them pronouns. And I am, uh, and uh, their character is from the Delinquent Playbook. Hello, my name's Fiona. I am playing a character called uh, Neve Neve Kelly Harper. Uh, Both of us use she, her pronouns. My superhero name is The Watcher, and I'm playing from the Doom Handbook. And I'm Morgan, your Game Master for this lovely edition of Mask. Um, My pronouns are both they, them, and she, her, interchangeably. And I don't have a playbook other than the world is my playbook. So (laughs) let's let's jump into this. Who wants to go first? Um, I can go first. Yeah, um, Maggie, Diana, you want to do the PlayStation first? So the, the Fury is a bit conspicuous. She's a gargoyle. Uh, so she is hanging out on the roof of the police station, um, so that she doesn't draw too much attention. And she's, she's mostly there to keep an eye out for anything that might look suspicious or sketchy and to give backup to, um, the whisper while she does her stuff inside. Um, so the thing about Allie is she is sitting on the top of this police station. She, there's a lot of like people down there that she feels like they're not quite doing stuff they're supposed to. Um, they're not getting the punishment that like the, the fury that has possessed her thinks they deserve, but she's not really supposed to do anything. So she is very like physically uncomfortable sitting up there. Like she has weird knots in her stomach. So she is just like compulsively texting everyone. Because she's just like, I need a distraction. I need any distraction. There is nothing happening, and I feel awful. Someone please talk to me. Do you all have a group chat going on? Like a, like a text group chat yeah. going on? Yes. Oh, yeah. And she is spamming it. <laughs> <laughs> give us give us some flavor text of like what, what's going on in it. Definitely one of the things she's doing is she's scrolling through like GIF menus and like spamming those and also just like periodically being like all clear or it's one o'clock and all's well. Um, just like updates of like nothing's happening. Um, and like some of the gifts she's throwing in are like, there's the Inigo Montoya one of I hate waiting. Um, <laughs> there's a clock like barely moving, um, like a SpongeBob image of like four hours later. How's everyone doing? What's up? I'm bored. Yeah, post notifications off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> Vignette responds to everyone's texts all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just texting back also gifts that are qu- don't quite make sense you know like instead of like a clock or like it's going to be okay it's just kind of like a cat like a random cat she's not she's not sure about the gifts yet uh and then also just reassurances oh and probably like oh it's one o'clock here and we're also well <laughs> there's like one super intense like stare gift from me and that's it no other response for the rest of the <laughs> duration jamie just keeps retweeting the whole dumpster fire <laughs> gif <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> all right well 
since we know where Allie is, we're going to leave y'all there, leave her there for a second. Um, we're going to scoot down to Jamie as a camera. You know, we just see Allie just sitting on top of the the police station, just kind of like in the middle, so she's not in view from the rest of the town. Just do you have like a do you have a touch phone? Do you have like no, it's like an buttons. older like flip phone, oh, okay. like a sidekick. Because yeah, because she, she her her talons, um, she kept breaking the touch phones, so she had to like track down an older but style phone and then get upgraded so it could like yep. do gifts and stuff. Mm-hmm. I figured I just that's why I had to clarify now. I was like, is she with a touch phone? I think she'll probably break it. Right? Yep. Nope. No touch phone. Can't do it. <laughs> and as we see Ali sort of doing that, we're just gonna like bring the camera down to. Jamie, as um, Jamie's, go- are you going into the police station? Like, how, how's this happening? Yes. Uh, Jamie takes her hood off because mm-hmm. uh, she look- she she doesn't have a different appearance. And so she's going into the police station and she's going to go find her dad, who happens to be the cat, the, the police captain. Oh, right. Yeah. So um, as you come in, the secretary in the front, you know her as... I'm so bad with names. Oh my gosh. Um, you know where Sandy. Sandy leads. Yeah. Um, she's like just like a nice, charming lady. You know, she's very sweet. She's she's pretty but whenever you know you've seen her a couple times where she has to get like pretty rowdy and like rough with like criminals that get thrown in here. She, but mm-hmm. other than that, she's like a nice, calm lady, unless, you know, you get on her bad side, which you haven't seen towards you yet, so you're okay. Mm-hmm. She's like, Oh hey Jamie, welcome, welcome in. Um yeah, your dad should be in his office if you wanted to go check out and see what's going on with him. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. I just wanted to check on him after all that kerfuffle downtown with, like, the bank robbery. Oh, my heart. Did you hear what happened there? I heard that, like, there are people – we got a couple of them in the jail currently, but um, they were oh, wearing you- these, like, inflated bunny hats or something like that, or – They were wearing bunny hats, and you caught them? Yeah, like uh, they were they were just rounded up and left, and we we weren't sure like who did it or what happened. But um, yeah, they apparently they were trying to steal from the bank, and I think we uh, caught like five of them. I'm not sure. One of them has a bullet wound. We had to get that one to the hospital at least. But um, oh my, I did I had no idea guns were involved. Oh, I'm so glad I came down to check te- check on my dad. Yeah, and I'm so Ugh. glad you're safe. I know, like it was like right around when school started, so I was like a little concerned that you know a lot of the kids were uh, going to be in the way, but luckily no one other than the robbers, of course, got hurt that we know of. So Oof. it was a mess. Like, whoever did this got in a scuffle. There was cars flipped over and crushed and pushed to the side. Well, <laughs> you know, if the supers were involved, you know, they probably did their best. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I know. I understand the supers are trying to clean the society. Just sometimes I just wish they'd be a little more gentle. <laughs> I understand that. It's It's hard. I'm I'm just glad it, ever, it sounds like everyone's okay. So you said my dad was in his office. Yeah, he's you, you know where it is. I ain't gonna point out to you, but um, yeah, he should be in there doing paperwork. Okay, so Jamie uh, is gonna go towards the office, but she's going to take the longest route possible to get to her dad's office. She's gonna go by like where the water cooler is and grab like a donut and get as close to where the jail cell is and just kind of like lounge there while she's eating said donut so she can try to hear whatever's going on with the prisoners. Question, what yes. kind of donut is it? I'm going to say it's a pink frosting. Ooh, like a strawberry. Donut. Ooh, yes. like strawberry frosted. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. With the sprinkle on it. Very, very iconic. As you're sitting there, just like sort of just enjoying your donut and taking your time and listening, you hear one of them, and it sounds like a female's voice, and she's like, uh, the doctor's going to be so mad at us. We we don't have the money for the program. And, and you hear Brett going, shut up. We'll get the money for the program. You know, maybe we can actually, you know, get a job or something and be responsible. And you hear her just laughing about it. And be like, us, a job, really? Come on, that's not going to happen. This is like my one shot into the program, and now I just, I don't even know if I can do it anymore. And he's like, all right, we'll figure something out. In the meantime, we got to get out. Have you heard anything from Oliver? I think he's the one that got out. And she just looks at him like, how am I going to, you hear the, we don't have our phones, we're in jail. He's like, right, I hope Zachary's okay. 
I think he got shot in the leg by one of the supers with this gun. And she was like, I told y'all not to bring a gun in. What? Why are y'all so, why is he such a dumbass? And he's like, I don't know. And so you just hear them like bantering back and forth about that and basically drop two names there for you. Mm -hmm. Something about a program. And then just them sort of arguing with one another. Uh, So Jamie pulls out her phone Uh to text the group. Uh, And I'm going to text Dr. Brett Oliver Zachary money for program question mark. Allie texts back with that's a weird name for a doctor. (laughs) Face palm emoji. (laughs) So I guess then uh, Jamie is going to uh, finish. She's finished her donut at this point and she's actually going to go see her dad. And, um, you, you know, his way to the office, it's, and it's sort of like in the back, it's got the nice door with like the frosted glass that says Captain Matthews right across the door in that, that stylistic gold writing that you see on pretty much in any cop show. Anywho, so, um, do you knock? Do you just enter? Like, how do you, how do you do? Uh, I'm going to knock and wait for a response. And you hear the gruff, come in. And then I'm going to enter uh, Kramer from Seinfeld style and just shove the door open. All right, now there, Javier, what's the scoop? I need it on the double. <laughs> he sort of jumps up a bit and then looks and he just shakes his head and he just keeps writing. <laughs> and she comes right in and she sits in a chair and puts her feet up on the desk. What's up, dad? What is up? And he like reaches over, grabs your shoes, picks them up, and just sort of like moves them off the side, just drops your feet off the table <laughs> or the desk. And he's like, you know, arresting people, putting them in jail, the paperwork that goes along with it. As he like motions to the piles of paperwork at his desk and like various folders and po- they just just loose pieces like all up to stacks. He's like, um, what is up with you? Shouldn't you be in school? And he looks at his wrist. Uh, well, uh, there was this big uh, kerfuffle, uh, is the uh, official term, uh, that happened near the school. And I heard you arrested a bunch of people I go to school with. I needed to come hear what would, that was about before I went to school with these dangerous criminals, Dad. He gives you a look like, <laughs> dude, I don't believe you, but okay. <laughs> Yes, there were some kids from your school, and yes, they were arrested. What, what, what more do you need? Like, well, like, did they really rob a bank? I mean, didn't you see the news? Yes. Well, I heard it. I heard it on the radio, but I wanted to get it from like a legitimate source. That's you, Dad. He just sighs heavily and like pinches <laughs> the of his nose. He's like, "Yes, they robbed a bank. Yes, it was high schoolers." Yes, it was kids you went to school with, you go to school with. Do we know why? No, Jamie, we do not have a motive or why. They will not speak to me about any of this. We just caught them, so please give us some time to figure things out. And also, this is police business, (laughs) ma'am. Ma'am? (laughs) Ma'am. I'll have you. I am only 17 years old. I am not a ma'am yet, father. (laughs) <laughs> I am a captain in this office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, shouldn't you be in school? I heard from your mother that your grades and algebra are just not... They're getting kind of low, and she wants me to be stricter with you, but I know math isn't a great strong suit in our family, but... I'm, I'm Dad, I'm good at geometry. I can do money math, which is all I need at the coffee shop. Why do I need algebra, too? Just to pass it, just to graduate. Like I don't. Oh, I'll, I'll graduate. I, I I don't care. But your mother, bless her. Please go to school. Will you write me a note, please? Oh God, for the love of Pete! <laughs> you see him <laughs> grab like official letterhead paperwork and just like start writing them, just grumbling like, oh, I can't believe you're, this is my child. <laughs> I can't believe she's like this, and you know, just grumbling to himself as he's writing you a note and hands it to you. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, sweetheart. Door open or shut? Shut, please. All right. And so she leaves. She shuts the door. And she just kind of saunters out of the police station. So I'm going to pause real quick. So before you head out, Maggie, uh, while you're up there texting away, you hear a scream off in the distance. Like, 
like a startled like oh no and it's uh, probably like, not even like too far away it's probably like two blocks away Allie's gonna want to check that out she's gonna like throw a text in the group chat that's just like heard something brb and she's gonna do um sort of a hop and glide sort of situation she's gonna like stay on the roof but she's gonna um she can jump pretty high and she uses her wings to glide a little bit to get to the next roof that like she wouldn't be able to reach through jumping um and she's gonna head toward the sound of the scream she heard okay so you basically just hop and glide the next building and you come it's about two blocks away and you start hearing this lady and like no no please stop please stop and you just hear metal on a tougher surfaces of sorts <laughs> as you get to that next building you start looking over the ledge you see like this um this middle-aged lady probably like 50s 60s or so um starting to, like on her on her back sort of just started crawling away and all of a sudden you see from the ledge that you're looking at a metal hand comes out and like starts pulling itself closer and then you just see this body of an atm start pulling itself out and then like the the another arm from the atm coming out and you see this arm starting to like reach and go down to grab her and you just see her starting to scream as she's like trying to scramble away yeah, so Allie is going to, I think probably the group has a shorthand for there's a problem. And I think what that is, is when everyone just gets an address, that means like, this is where the problem is. I don't have time to like give you more details. I've got to do something, but like there's a problem going on here. Mm-hmm. Get here if you can. And, and as you can tell, it's just just the one. And it just it's like a small ATM. It's probably literally like, how tall are ATMs? They're like four feet tall, five-ish. Um, so it's just the one, it's just metal, and you just hear the automated tone as, cannot process, cannot process, as it's, as it's reaching down. I am going to jump down on top of the arm that's, like, reaching for her, and, okay. like, use my body weight to, like, stop it from grabbing her. All right, give me a, um, what is it called? A powerful blow, is what it is. I think just a basic move. Okay. Directly engage a threat. Okay, so whatever this is plus danger. So I have a 13 then. You pick two you of the list, if you have the list in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so pick two. Okay. So I think one of the things I want to do is surprise the opposition. Mm-hmm. So its attention is now no longer on the woman it was attacking, but on me. And I think I want to take something from them. I think I want to land so hard that, like, you rip the arm the, off. The hand comes off the arm. Yeah. Yeah. You land on the arm and you just hear this crunching of metal as it just sort of just pulls away from the the body of the ATM, and you just hear that cannot process. Stop for a second. Slowly turn to look at you, and it doesn't even look like it's looking at you because it just has a. They have screens. I'm going to give it a face because that's a perfect place to put a face. And it, it turns to look at you, and you see it just has those, like, it looks like, almost like an emoji almost, where it's like the, like the little, like. Like a frowny face? Uh, yeah, like a frowny, f- I'm pulling up emojis real quick, hold on one second. <laughs> please wait while I pull up emojis you to look at this game, too. Please, please wait. System processing. <laughs> System processing. <laughs> and there's like a slots rolling of emojis while it's processing. <laughs> it's like, yes. Like, you pull the slot machine down, and it's just like. <laughs> Well, currently, because you just did it, it has the, it, like, a surprise emoji face where it's, like, just the eyes, like, and the, the mouth are just, like, all like an O. <laughs> and then it looks at you, and then it just turns into an angry, frowny face emoji. <laughs> it's, like, cannot process. And it just starts going, it, yeah, it starts, it's moving slow. It's, like, sluggish and slow. So it's, like, slowly reaching out for you now to, like, grab with the other hand. And the metal hands are, like, not big either. They're just, like, about two feet. So it just looks like it's just trying to reach for you. And it's threatening. You you can see it's threatening for mundanes. However, for supers like yourself or in others, you're just like, this thing? Whatever. So if you want to, you can dispatch it real quickly. And if so, how? I think Allie doesn't want to destroy it because she would rather someone who knows computers better than she does could like take a look at it. But she is going to try and keep it, like, contained. Like, 
like almost do the equivalent of like, you know, holding someone's head back as they're like trying to hit you. So like they can't really do anything. Yeah. Like this, that's kind of how she feels what's going to happen here is she's just going to kind of sit on it or something and keep it from moving. I thought you were going to like bear hug it or something. So it just like stays foot, but that works too. I love it. Just like, no, you can't reach me. You just see this like one armed ATM sentient machine thing, just trying to reach. And it just can't reach. It like looks like it's trying to reach for the other arm. And, but just, there's nothing coming out that way in sparks. That's you. We're going to pause for a second as you're just holding it still. <laughs> um, high school or book bend? Where do you want to go next? I guess high school. You yeah, high we can do that. Or? Okay. No, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. So y'all get to McIntyre High School, um, as we mentioned in our setup episode. Basically, it's a high school where Amir and uh, Jamie go to. So this high school, because of, because of the age of the the name and stuff, is actually sort of like retro futuristic sort of looking. So it has that very like '90s like Americana feel of the high school. But you know, it has some like tech sort of like built into it and like around to like upgrade it, but just keeping the original bones in a sense. Are y'all just coming straight into the hallways? You're all staying outside. We'll come to the scene like. We just see this big building as they're coming up. Are we going to be zooming in with y'all? Or are y'all just coming out? Stay outside. Like? I feel like before we go inside, because then it's harder to get out, at least Amir would have suggested that we check out the outdoor field first. If Because um, if for whatever reason, I think the first logical jump is if they're trying to pull off a robbery, I feel like they're maybe athletic in some way. So perhaps checking like the football field, soccer field, like the outdoor field, see if there's anyone limping would be a good thing before maybe looking in the indoor gymnasium. Yeah, y'all y'all scoot around to the field and like this building is massive. You know, Halcyon City is like a big old city. And this is high school is just one of the many within the various parts of town. So this this school's pretty massive. It holds about four thousand kids. So y'all make your what you loop around towards the back where the uh, football fields are, the baseball fields, the track, the track, all that stuff, and you just see kids from PE, sort of the midday PE class, sort of doing laps, wearing like the baggy gray shirts that are tucked into those like awful like red shorts that just feel like they're too With short gold been uh, stripes on the side yeah 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 yeah. you know just that just that really like oh those are high school pe clothes <laughs> yeah, yeah. A flying ferret on the back of the shirt yeah i would say i would say the school doesn't even put budget for that it's just a tiny little ferret in the front of the shirt like on oh on. like a bolo shirt it's almost like sort of a logo yeah, it's just it's like it's like a, just a plain white tee or plain gray tee that's pretty baggy and then like over the left um breast area it's just like a little like tiny f- red ferret <laughs> it's not even a flying one it's just a ferret it's the it, it's the okay. standard <laughs> yeah it looks like it's flying because it has a little three wishies underneath it <laughs> No one said this ferret had wings, y'all. So, like, <laughs> amazing. Oh, I was actually thinking like a cape, like this, like the soup cape. Oh, okay, yes. I was thinking like, like the a I was ferret thinking, in a superhero pose. The I was thinking aviator goggles and like <laughs> a little aviator jacket and a scarf. But oh my like gosh, super ferret, <laughs> super ferret. I, I do enjoy. So, so because it's just the plain red on the gray. It's just gonna be that one just like a high contrast picture where it's just like the silhouette it's yeah the silhouette of a ferret with a little cape on (laughs) and it's just like on the breast uh, the left breast part of the t-shirts that you see so you see these kids walking like walking the track you see a couple kids like in the bleachers sort of just like not paying attention just a normal high school day i sort of uh Look to vignette and I say, let's look for anyone who's limping. Okay. Vignette also, looks around. I know you're checking the messages. Is there anything important? I have not looked since one o'clock and all is well. Vignette checks her phone and says, uh, one o'clock and all is well, and a lot of pictures. Uh, I think Allie might be bored. And it looks like Jamie is at the police station getting information. She's so good at getting information. And Allie is very good at waiting. 
Uh huh. And I'm while that's happening, while I'm listening, like I, it's like I'm not even looking at vignette. I'm scanning the field and half hearing. I've already tuned out after Ali's board. Do you do you see anyone limping? Do I see anyone limping? Yeah, I was looking at my phone. Sorry, I, that was more of a me to GM. Do I see anyone? Oh, limping? oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought he was repeating to me. That was amazing. <laughs> That was so pure. I love it. <laughs> See, I, I figured that was a question for me, but I was like, you know, I'm just going to let this go and let this... Let this Vignette just breaks the fourth wall constantly. I love it. <laughs> is she your Deadpool without happening? <laughs> I'm just going to mute myself. <laughs> no, that was perfect. So, um, you don't seem to be limping, like, out in the field. You do see, like, people, like, in the bleachers, but they don't, like, they have any injuries via, like, what you can tell. Because, you know... Those shorts, they go, like, above the knee, and then, like, they probably have, like, everybody has, like, crew socks or ankle socks on, so you don't see anybody wrapped up or anything like that. And people are, like, the the popular girls who just don't care about athletics, so they're, like, on their phones, like, BSing and whatnot. Huh. Better idea. We should probably go to the nurse's office. Do you want the shortcut, or do you want to walk? Are you ill? No, not me. The person the you know one of the bunnies that were limping oh may have gone to see the nurse you are very smart okay i will follow you to the nurse's office and i i look to you vignette and it's like shortcut or uh do you want to walk oh i like the shortcut okay hold on and i just grab you and i <laughs> teleport to the nurse's office or just in front of the nurse's office screen cut to the nurse's office and as you're finally inside the building you look and see in the right now it's classes are pretty much going on uh pretty pretty much going on so it's, the hallways are pretty quiet and dead but you see the streamers of red and gold throughout the building you see posters saying homecoming dance you see uh people trying to be homecoming king and queen like promoting themselves all over the lockers and bulletin boards and all that. And it's just very the very festive time because they're facing the the golden statues, homecoming propaganda throughout the halls, and it's just bringing up what typically is a dull, typical the grays and browns of the typical hallways that you see in most high schools. As you land and you take the minute to like at least a vignette, you've probably never seen a high school before, so you're just Mm-mm. like like, what is this? And you're probably just taking it in for a minute. All of a sudden, that's when the bell rings. And you just see all these humans sort of filter out at once. All these teenage, and it's just chaos. Like, just, just coming out. And Vignette's just standing there. <laughs> as these people are just coming out through the hallways. I think, I think Vignette grabs on to Amir, assuming they let them. Like, just an arm. Yeah. Like, <gasps> well, I think they were already holding on because I just teleported us. Yes. Yes, and maybe you were going to let go, but at least for yeah. a second, and Vignette, like, tightens her grip, and she's like, what, what is happening? End of class is what's happening. It'll disperse in a couple of minutes. Okay. It's okay. Are they attacking us? Depends on your definition of attacking us. Perhaps let's go into the nurse's office, shall okay. we? Yes, please. And I uh, knock and then enter. I don't wait for anyone to say come in. I just knock and enter. Yeah, and you, you, you go right in, save Vignette from the, the, the flood of humans coming in y'all's way as soon as you shut the door. It's like, it's like when you see like those movies where like the, the dam breaks and it's just like a flood of people, or a flood of water rather, and you're like, no, and you keep it out with that one less huzzah. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, so you walk in, it's a typical, like, nurse's office, there's, like, a little office, like, off to the side, and then, like, I don't know, like, two beds, right, those things are beds, like, little cots that have plastic mattresses on them, just so, um, kids can lay on them and whatnot, you see coming out of the nurse's office, it's a, it's nurse, um, Angela Ratchet, and she's like, yeah, what do you need? Um, I just wanted to check in with my Is friend. Was she breathing? Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I don't mean to offend you. Like, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I just, we get some outsiders every once in a while. I just, uh, got, or, sorry, I didn't know. Okay, sorry. So before we need to 
collect all the dirt you've just dug up to, you know, dug yourself into. Um, perhaps I could just check on my friend that came in a little while ago, said they had a limp. Oh, yeah, you mean Oliver? He, uh, yeah, he's, he's right over there. I think he's taking a nap right now, but uh, you can just, hey, Oliver, <laughs> and she just, like, yells it. And you just hear a, huh, what, 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 and it's like one of the, it's like behind the curtain, like, so you'd like walk in and turn, but you're able to go in and see that there's a kid on the cot over there and he's, he's about 16 or so, 17. So you actually probably in different class, class grades, but he's just like, he just has one of those like faces that get lost in the crowd, nondescript. I think Vignette is going to try to distract the nurse with medical problems that she says she's having while Amir talks to Oliver. Um, give me give me one. She says, I need help because I'm surfing the crimson wave <laughs> because Clueless was the last movie that Jamie made her watch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> You've oh, broken her. You oh, broken visual her. indicator. Oh, Morgan oh. has turned a deep shade of red. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful and I love it. Oh, good heavens. Okay. So the nurse is like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we got some stuff for you. And she starts like, uh, you can see her starting to reach for things and pull things out and starting to talk to Vignette as the camera pans to Amir and Oliver. So Oliver's just getting sort of groggy, just woke up from a nap. And he's like, what? What's, what's, who are you? Uh, I rest my elbow lightly on the bruised leg. Like, you know, like, hey, bud. Yeah, I heard you had a nasty, f- nasty fall. How'd that happen? P.E. class? Yeah, oh. P.E. class. Oh, I thought I- I'd heard there was someone who looked a lot like you running away from the down square this afternoon carrying a large sack of something what um uh that that wasn't me i mean everybody says i look like someone else but that that that, you know that 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 wasn't me and i put a little force on my elbow down now you just hear a tiny because you really look a lot like the person on the news they once again and the grim is like all right please just i'll tell you just just can you please get off that ankle? Uh, sure. And I just sort of lower, I, I raise my elbow just like a centimeter above. Okay. What were, what were you going to do with that sack? It was, we're a bunch of just dumb kids, right? We're just trying to, you know, figure out what, what, what we're going to do in life. And it just, we heard about the opportunity to, you know, this program that the stock this doctor at the university is running and we just wanted to see if we can get in, but we needed to pay our way in. So like, we were like, we just thought of this dumb idea to like, Hey, why don't we go rob a bank? Cause we're just a bunch of dumb kids. But like, obviously we should have known better, but like we thought it was just a quick way to get cash, but you know, like we thought we wouldn't get caught, but obviously we did. And, or at least everybody else did. And I didn't, but, um, what program was it? It, it's for the it's a robotics program that one of the professors is um, running at the university with Dr. Troy Roswell. Let's just say any program worth its weight that actually wants talent would not ask people to pay to get in. Usually they audition and take the best, so you might want to stay away from that. And I sort of just unthinkingly sort of rest my elbow again (laughs) and then when I hear the groan I'm like oh I'm sorry you know what you should rest and I leave okay (laughs) and as you start pulling back at the camera moves back to vignette and you're like uh do you have another medical problem for us I think that the nurse was looking for what she could give me to help like Tylenol supplies that sort of thing and 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 she did and because I am non-human uh, the nurse uh, wasn't sure what I needed, so she gave me a large basket. So I think when Amir comes out, Vignette's just holding a large basket of supplies and 
Tylenol samples and no, no, no. It's a high school. It's discreet. So it's a big old paper bag. <laughs> yes, it is a paper bag. I That's think, exactly what it is. I think you also, when she was pulling stuff out, you saw that she had fun band-aids. And so you insisted yes. on getting a couple. So you have like band-aids on your face. Yes. <laughs> this like is a correct. One and like one with a dinosaur on it. Yep. <laughs> and I just have this look of what just happened on my face. I was gone for two minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as you come around and like, you know, you see vignette with the basket and the nurse has gone back in her office already because she's like, I, I've given you everything. I don't know what else more you want. Um, that's when vignette, your phone blinks again with the address. Okay. Uh, so vignette sees that come in and she, doesn't want to say anything since there's people around. So she just holds up the phone and shows it to a mirror and then holds up the bag and says, and I have supplies. Good. I look around if anyone uh, can see us and I just teleport us to the address. All right. Um, no, Oliver is behind that curtain. The nurse is back in her office. So where her office door is, you can't just blind spot. So you're able to just grab and yet and you'll just bam poof again. Yep. And that's one little swing cut to the book then. Masks is Maggie as the Fury, Fiona as the Watcher, Miriam as Mixed Direction, Diana as the Whisperer, Kristen as Vignette, and Morgan as the Game Master. PBTP is a proud member of the Role to Play Network. It is hosted by Diana Lorraine, Morgan Nuncio, and Kristen Devine. Discover more at RollToPlayNetwork.com. See you next time.